Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video we're going to be doing a very soft smoky eye. So let's get started. So I'll be using the Body Shop Moisture Foundation in SPF 15 in shade 01. This lightweight liquid foundation is buildable and blendable for a dewy picture perfect finish. It has no added fragrance and has SPF 15. This foundation delivers a healthy looking radiant complexion. I will use this today and just skip concealer altogether. I will apply this using a flat brush. I am using the foundation to help cover up any discoloration or veins on my eyes which will create a smooth even canvas for me to work on. I am using a translucent powder from Engol Collections. It is so finely milled it helps give full coverage that feels so lightweight enough to wear it all day. Just grab this brush, dip it into a generous amount of powder and press the product gently into your eyelids until you have covered the entire area. After that you are all set to start applying eyeshadow. Today's star of the video is this uniquely designed quad eyeshadow palette from the brand Mona Lisa. I got this from Jeddah. I will not use the brush it comes with. This palette is unique because of how the eyeshadows are placed. Usually a quad palette has 4 eyeshadows given in separate compartments but this one has the eyeshadows all in one pan. The mirror is annoying because it is in portrait format so you have to make it in landscape format to check if the eyeshadows are applied evenly on the eyes. This is the palette of black and grays to make the perfect smoky eye for a glam look but you can also use the shades for an everyday look. I will do a soft smoky eyes makeup tutorial for today. To apply the first eyeshadow color I will use this fluffy blending brush. I will apply a matte gray eyeshadow which is the number 3 and the only matte eyeshadow in this palette to the outer V of the eye and to the crease line. Blending in the direction of the temples. Then using a smudge brush, I will use the shade number 4 to apply only very close to the outer upper and lower lash line, slightly taking the brush inwards on the upper lash line. You need to make a V shape following the natural outlines of the eye. One line should extend towards where the crease meets the brow bone, while the other stays close to the lash line. To achieve this, just apply the dark eyeshadow softly. Last eyeshadow is the shade number 2. I will use my fingers to apply this all over my lid area. Use an eyelash curler, curl the top lashes and don't forget your bottom lashes. Then I will use the L'Oreal Paris Volume Million Lashes Fatal Mascara. My eye makeup is done and now I have to apply mascara. Applying mascara can be quite tricky as coating your lashes without getting it on the eyelid is difficult to do. An easy trick is to hold a face mask silicone applicator over the eyelid so it acts as a shield between the lashes and the skin. Apply one or two strokes of mascara without worrying about it getting transferred onto your skin. Any residue that would have otherwise landed on the skin will be sitting on the silicone applicator. Isn't this makeup tip the best you have learned so far? The silicone applicator is so easy to clean and reuse instantly afterwards. Using the Bourjois Contour Clubbing Waterproof Eye Pencil in Ultra Black Glitter, I will intensify my lashes. Tight lining is used to boost the intensity of your lashes and visibly neutralize any sparse sections. Use this technique to make your eyes stand out by adding definition and intensity. I will use shade number 1 as the highlighter. Using a pencil brush, I will highlight the inner corner of my eye and the brow bone. So I am using the Lark Precision Eyebrow Pencil. I got this from the Dollar Shop. Extra precision on one end and a spoolie brush for blending on the other. I got this in the shade Black. Just fill in the brow contour using the pencil's slim tip. Draw small hair-like strokes in an upward motion along the brow contour. Focus on filling in areas where hair is sparse and lightly go over the rest of the brow to even things out. After that, you just have to blend and set the hair. Using the spoolie, just use it to groom the hairs upwards and outwards to blend in color and set the brows. You can do a lot of variations of this smoky eye. You can have a big bold wing but not put any eye pencil inside. Or you can do a small wing but just do all the smoky eye effects. And we're done. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, you know what to do. In case you don't know what to do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out!